Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross, the guy with the eye here and excited to review something that I've really, really been wanting to and it's a competitor to the GoPro and it is kind of a GoPro clone, but what is it? The SJ Cam 4000 and I have the black edition that I was sent to review. So literally, let's dive into this right now. So like I said, I've been really excited to actually review this product and get my hands onto it. And I was kind enough because the people from Banggood actually reached out to me. I'll throw all their information and links to where to pick these up if you want to get them and try them out down in the description below. So make sure to check them out and check the links out. Um, but finally, this is something that I've been wanting to do. I actually used to own a GoPro uh, and, you know, it was kind of pricey for what I had. It's great quality, but I just didn't use it much. But for the price of something like this, it's really affordable and we're going to see all the quality that I got as I just was able to test these, you know, little quick stuff like that. And I was, I got to say, the SJ Cam 4000, uh, I was really impressed by the uh, the footage and some of the photos that we got compared to like a GoPro. I, I owned the GoPro Hero 3, you know, a couple months ago and now I was able to get my hands on and test this little powerful guy. This action camera actually has some things that I really enjoy, uh, you know, and for the price, it's interesting what you get and what you don't get. I mean, you know, for example, this is, you know, it, it obviously has a similar design to the GoPro, just so the skeleton case aside, but once again, it's just something like this. I'll show you close-ups and, you know, kind of how it works and everything like that, but it's very simplistic. It's very easy to use, has an external battery compared to where some of the other action cameras don't, making it really hard to do, especially like the new GoPro Hero 4 session. You know, it's not a removable battery, so you always have to charge it, but with something like this, it's there. And the cool thing is built into it, you're not paying an extra 70 to hundred dollars for the older, like some of the older GoPros, you know, you actually have a uh, LCD screen on the back so that way you can at least have some of an idea of framing what you're doing, what you're shooting and what mode you are in. So this uh, Session 4, uh, SJ4000 Plus, the Black Edition, it's really strong. Two of the big perks for me, especially on the video side, because if you're buying this, you really want something more rugged. You want something that is really good in video. You know, stills are also good as well. This is what, 12 megapixel stills. It's on a CMOS sensor, but this does 2K resolution at 30 frames per second. And at also the highest, it does 1080p at 60 and 30 frames per second. So those are your HD, Ultra HD, qualities that you get and you know as you know as I said I'm gonna run these I'm gonna run some test clips that I did down by this uh, you know this river and everything like that by my house and on that I'll you know I'll pop up when it was shot in 2k for you know all that kind of stuff 1080p 30 frames and everything so that way you can see the differences I'll even slow them up I did a driving test to see how that did and I was never able to do that because I you know with something like this, it's very affordable and you can get some interesting angles. So it has that 1.5 inch LCD screen uh, on the back and you know, I like it. I'm gonna review something next week as well. The, um, what's it, the Blackview Hero 1. I'm gonna review that as well and I'll give you my thoughts on that. Once again, the screen is great and it's included because you're able to see something but I wish it was a little bit bigger. Like the, uh, the Blackview is like a two inch screen and it actually looks really nice. Uh, on something like that. So it's a 1.5 inch LCD screen. It gives you 80 minutes of battery life. Uh, and I found that the battery life is okay. And I just found that it, that you really chew through it kind of quickly. When I first got it, I actually charged it. I did the unboxing so that way I could really charge it, uh, you know, right away so that way I can get full battery use. But I did find the battery life to be really, you know, that it does chew through it kind of quickly. And it will support micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. And for 2K resolution, I think that's fine. Just use a good class 10 micro SD card. They're very affordable. You can get probably a 32 gigabyte for well under $30, $20 nowadays. So it's definitely an investment to look in. And I guess what you, so this is actually found for under $100. Once again, I'll even throw links to down below to, to the Banggood site and B&H Photo has it and everything like that. And I'm gonna kind of compare it to the GoPro Hero, maybe even the three on an extreme end, but even their basic one that they have for $130, the GoPro Hero, uh, their action camera, does HD video up top at to 1080p at 30 frames and 720 at 60 frames. So this does better video than that. Five megapixel stills and five frames per second. Uh, it says a two, two and a half hour battery life, which probably does get something like that, any constant 2.8 lens. But really, what does this look like? What are my thoughts and how does it 
look. I do have to say I did have high hopes for this thing. I've seen a ton of great reviews and I, I've seen obviously a lot of review videos because I just wanted to see what I was getting myself into. And I must say this stacks up fantastically to a lot of GoPro footage and GoPro quality, if not maybe even a touch better. You know, the stills I said, they're 12 megapixels and they're pretty decent. You know, it was very, very bright outside. You'll see from the photos here. I left the timestamp on so you could see that I, you know, I took them, you know, and they were from, you know, just the other day and what time of day and everything like that. But make sure that comes out packaged. So make sure that when you do this down the road, you take the timestamp off in the menus because it will be on your video and photos. So that comes default, just take them off. It's pretty simple. The low light, it's not going to be good in low light. Neither are GoPros for the most part. But as you see, you know, I was just walking around. I even had her on a selfie stick so I could get, can get some extreme angles and everything. And it looked really good. You know, even a low angle of me walking, just trying to change perspective, driving around, um, you know, setting up a time lapse with 2K, 2K resolution, which looks phenomenal as well. And um, it's just, it worked out really, really well. The slow motion looks pretty decent and even just regular 1080p at 30 frames per second, which I'm even shooting my YouTube videos at, it looks pretty good. Even for shooting 2K resolution, you can even crop into it a little bit instead of just using 1080 and you'll retain good quality, especially when you, uh, you know, size it down to 1080 anyway for your HD resolution. So overall with showing you, you know, these examples and me reviewing it, you know, I went on my computer as soon as I got home, so super excited. And yes, Jcam 4000 really gives you fantastic quality for the price. You know, it even has the SJ Cam app, iOS, Android, Google, all that kind of stuff. You can download it and it works essentially like the other type apps. You can control exposure and everything like that. But anything that I've showed is unedited, undoctored and everything like that and it's good quality. Thanks so much to Bang Goods for sending them out, so show them some love down below. I'll, send, I'll spread some links. You know, if you wanna check it out, please check it out. It's really worth reviewing.